The next thing we're going to talk about is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is a concept applied to a broad array of connected applications. IoT is impacting our businesses and home life, and in many instances, connecting the two, whether it's welcomed or not. What IoT is doing providing is providing automation through if-then, then-that formulas, using a connected network of data collectors, communication devices, and cloud storage, IoT can provide solutions to simple and complex scenarios quickly and accurately. IoT is impacting infrastructure in all phases of its life cycle. Once existing conditions, information has been obtained and processed, hopefully through the use of a UAV, it's time to start designing. But first, a word of caution from Carl Bass. Uh, president and CEO of Microdesk. He says, the Internet of Things is like teenage sex. Everyone is talking about it, nobody's really doing it, and if they're doing it, they're probably doing it badly. Despite the crude analogy, he's kind of right. The Internet of Things is very powerful, but it's still in its infancy with regards to how we're managing the monstrous amounts of data we're obtaining and putting it to good use. The Internet of Things requires three components. The thing, which is the physical device or the devices collecting the data. Connectivity, which is its communication or transmission. And then the cloud system. The cloud system allows the distribution um, to those who will use and process the data. Using this distributed data and information, we're able to add our intelligence to plan and design our infrastructure based on real, up-to-date data. So we're not getting replaced by sensors, computers, cloud servers, BIM software, and robotics just yet. We will, however, start seeing programmers and network engineers as part of our project teams to assist in the collection, analysis, and distribution of data. We need to use our experience and intelligence to navigate through the data produced by IoT in order to use it effectively. An interesting application of IoT that I'm currently interested in is the extraction of data from vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle, or V2V traffic data applications, such as Waze, to supplement, or dare I say replace, our traffic studies to plan for our future infrastructure projects more effectively. V2V applications are part of the IoT or part of IoT in which data is collected through cell phones and GPS, communicated to an application where algorithms are applied in order to deliver solutions such as traffic rerouting, delays in traffic time, and roadway conditions. As IoT emerges, a traffic engineer with the right software and expertise and a skilled programmer will be able to extract data from an application and supplement it with additional data traditionally collected in the field. The combined data can then be translated into traffic simulations within InfraWorks 360 to model different scenarios. Los Angeles and their recently implemented adaptive signalization equipment is another way IoT data can be extrapolated and modeled in planning software. This information can be used to develop evacuation routes and emergencies, as well as determine the best scenarios or traffic rerouting for peak traffic conditions. London tracks pedestrian and bicycle usage through the use of cameras. The technology provides data on how the infrastructure is used in planning and street upgrades, as well as widening sidewalks, pedestrian signal timing, and whether or not warrants are met for modifying infrastructure to accommodate evolving transportation needs. As IoT emerges, infrastructure planning becomes smarter. So what we saw in the video playing in the background there was um, InfraWorks 360 processing traffic simulations using extrapolated data. Now, it's not there yet, the technology, but um, what we should be able to do is provide, um, is extract data from Waze in order to supplement um, traditional data that's being input into InfraWorks. So providing um, InfraWorks with information maybe on a, you know, to do some forensic analysis on a particular event um, would be a useful application of IoT into um, our existing software. 
So as population grow in, um, in urban centers, infrastructure needs to adapt to suit the needs of the city's inhabitants. The most sustainable infrastructure is smart infrastructure that can adapt to its, um, to its change in use, its change in condition, or change in environment, and not additional in infrastructure that needs to be constructed. By incorporating data transmitting sensors on our city's infrastructure, we're able, able to monitor pedestrian and vehicular traffic, infrastructure structural integrity, utility condition, and emergency evacuations and pollution levels. The collected data can provide us information on how our infrastructure is being used, how it's performing, or how quickly it needs to be replaced. Emerging IoT technologies are also improving public safety. Throughout the United States, highway bridges are aging and are requiring more inspections to monitor their structural health. Through the application of networked sensors, bridges now have the ability to communicate their conditions through IoT. Sensors are attached to the bridge components and communicate through wireless access points to provide remote DOT management facilities the most up-to-date, accurate information on the bridge's integrity, reducing the need for potentially unnecessary inspections. If the sensors monitor greater deflection than is normally tolerated, or measure a decrease in material density, faster decisions can be implemented to avoid putting the public in danger and avoiding catastrophe. This technology is not new, but its increased accessibility through emerging IoT technologies has generated great adop greater adoption rates for DOTs. 